Hey, what is up you guys? Right now I'm doing a catch and cook beaver video. Like I'm gonna set the trap, catch the beaver. I'm not gonna show the processing. I'm gonna show you the finished product before I cook it. I'm gonna put some links down below where you can find out how to process a beaver. Um, but before we get into this video, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you get all my videos coming up. You know, I'll be putting out some more trap videos fishing videos, a lot of outdoor videos. Once the weather breaks here, I'll be doing mushroom foraging also, hopefully. Anyway, you guys, let's get into this video right now. Yo, so we are out trying to shoot a catch a cook beaver video. Um, I have actually set up a few different lodges around the area and I'm trying to catch one big beaver to cook on video, but I'm gonna cook the whole thing. Not just a hindquarters in a crock pot, you know. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna skin the beaver. I'm gonna, I want a big beaver too, by the way. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna skin it, clean it all up, take all the fat off it. You don't want any beaver fat at all on the meat, okay? I'm gonna take the head and the tail off, but I'm gonna cook the whole beaver all the way up, you know, neck and everything. I might have to separate it, you know, and just put two separate pieces in my big roaster. But essentially it'll be one whole beaver we are gonna slow cook in a roaster. Um, hopefully things won't get bad for people. I don't, I'm not gonna talk about this much, but I mean, it's a supplemental meat that people can, that have access to, you know? I literally, you know, I could catch, if I really wanted to, I could probably go out and set, you know, 30 traps and catch 10 or 12 beaver. It's a lot of meat anyway gonna go out gonna set some traps I'm gonna show you the setting of one trap and then I'm gonna show me catching the beaver and then I'm gonna show me cooking the beaver I'm not gonna show the processing of the beaver cuz Facebook doesn't like it or not Facebook, YouTube doesn't like when you do that they think you're murdering somebody and it's all gory and this and that which it, I mean I have processing videos you guys have seen you know, processing videos on my channel before. If you want to see a, a beaver processing video, I'm gonna put some links down here in the description to, um, gosh, oh my gosh, what's his name? The Meat Trapper. I'm gonna put, process, I'm gonna put some links down here in the video to the Meat Trapper's um, videos he does some good processing videos on beaver and stuff so stop over there watch those videos tell them I sent you okay and yeah so from here I'm probably going to show you the trap catching a beaver um, and then I'm probably gonna jump straight to my 1971 kitchen so don't be shocked when you see how 70s all my floor and countertops are we had a we had a fire in our apartment building and they moved us to another apartment which is fine nice apartment other than the countertops and everything are from 1970 anyway let's get to that process right now this was open water a couple days ago probably coming from there I'm guessing but Ooh, there's a run. <laughs> Do that. Yeah, there's a run right there. Okay. All right, you guys. Um, this is just a blocking off stick. This is full stick. This is actually going to be my stake. It's kind of big, but that's the only thing I can get right now. But, I mean, I'm just feeling this run coming out. I'm going to end up... Putting this in right about here. Oh, that's a nice soft bottom. I like that. It's 
that's blocking off stick on that edge of the run. Pretty nice sandy run here, you guys. To be perfectly honest with you. I'm actually gonna put that in at a little bit of an angle. There we go. Okay. Got my 330 here. Hopefully I don't come here, my traps are stolen tomorrow. If I do, I know who did it. People behind me. Haven't had a trap stolen in years, but these people are looking pretty shady at me with what they've been doing. that right through your rings here. Ooh, that cracked. I might have pooped myself a little bit. Water's shallow though, so no, no danger. Center that in the run. Hands on your stick, you guys. You want to take a swim? Swivel sticks right here. Nice clear water. I can actually see what I'm doing here, guys. Put my swivel stick between the jaws of this trap, just like this. I can see that. There we go. I'll shove that in the bottom. Here we go. Pretty clear water. I don't know, hopefully it won't affect the beaver's ability to come swimming through my trap here. Make sure and wire that safety up. I'm gonna shave some of this snow down here. Block a little bit of sunlight there. And then I'm gonna just hook this to this tree branch here. What you basically need, you need a branch that's not gonna go down the hole. So you need a branch that's wider than the hole you have for your, you know, for your trap to go into. So, put that over this, like so. There we go. That. That trap is set. There's two traps I have set in this lodge. I don't know. I'll try to set this third one over here. Anyway, you guys, we'll be back tomorrow. Check these traps or find out if they're stolen or not. I definitely did not get the set. There's probably another one. Or I don't know if there's another oak or sprung trap or no difficulty in this trap or what this is. Um, there's fur, you guys. Oh, sorry, there's fur right here in this trap. So we have connected on this set. Good news is, I do have some more sticks to add to this as blocking off and such. So we're gonna find out what's in this trap here quick. Could be a small one. I'm gonna assume that there's a lot of small beaver in here, just so you guys know that. I mean, this is a pretty big lodge. These runs have no ice over the top of them. Nope, that's a big beaver. That's a big beaver, you guys. There's a big one. That's a big beaver, right there. I got that beaver right by the front shoulders coming out of the lodge.
This is the beaver we are going to use in our giant catch and cook. That's awesome. Well, got one big one, you guys. That's sweet. Sweet. Well, we're gonna take this guy out of the 330 quick. The arms down. There we go. Press that spring. It's all about leverage, you guys. A lot of people commenting. I don't know how you can do that. Leverage. That trap so that beaver can't move. That actually not too hard. Just like that, you guys. See that? See that's pretty easy. There we go. One big beaver out of this lodge suite. Well, I'm gonna reset this with a bunch of these other sticks I got here. Make it a little bit more presentable. All right, you guys. Before I do this cooking part of it, I'm gonna show you. So I didn't show you guys the skinning and all the all the bloody part and you know whatever that YouTube could flag me for. I'm just showing you here is the beaver here. I have it all cleaned up to a bolt where I want it to be. I might try to take some more fat off of it, you know. Um, and I don't know if the whole thing will fit into my roaster as is. I might have to cut it in half right about here and then just tuck this end up in the rib cage so it'll all fit together. But I'm gonna cook it with i'm gonna put some some beef broth in there um potatoes probably carrots lettuce onions and i'm gonna cook this guy on low heat probably for about 12 hours in my roaster anyway at least give you an idea of what it looks like um like i said you can skin this when you do skin them take off right here is the pelvis bone and this is, you know, all the innards and stuff. And then you have like the urine sac and all that. Cut these bones off right here. You want to get all that out of there, okay? But you don't want it to burst on your meat. You know, you don't want any of that, you know, any of that matter on your meat. It just seems like if you if you do have that happen, it just doesn't, the taste doesn't wash off as like you would think it would. But I do have a, a simple skinning video I'll put below. And then I'll put down... Um, a processing video from the from the meat trapper down below or I'm not sure I think he just like I think he quarters it up and stuff but it gives you an idea of how to process a beaver like I did I took this 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 meat off that's usually laying over the belly so now I have, have all I have left is the front shoulders and the ribs um, one thing you got to be careful for behind the shoulders here are like glands um, you don't want those glands in there. Remove those glands. Check around the legs. There's glands there. You want to remove any glands that you find. You know, and they're they're usually right around the, you know, the joint areas here. You want to remove any glands you find, okay, before you decide to cook these these bad boys. Anyway, let's hop to the kitchen. All right, you guys. So this is gonna be pretty simple for the most part. I got my beaver here. <laughs> here he is. The front part of it, shoulders, rib cage, all that. I got, I got this uh, roaster set at 300 degrees. Okay, um, roasters don't let out moisture like a conventional, like a conventional oven does. So I'm gonna cook. There's that, and oh, the heart. Yeah, heart. Can't forget the heart. In fact, I just heard it sizzle. That, that, and the biggest part. Look at that. I got the hind quarters here, too. Look at that. Ooh, there we go. It all fit in there, you guys. Okay. So, but seasoning. Gotta make sure and season it up. Johnny's Hunter's Blend. I'm just gonna put a bunch of it on the meat. Um, just so you guys know, I also have a box, I have a box of beef broth in the bottom of this roaster, okay? Don't, you don't want to put it in there dry or nothing, but put on some seasoning. Don't be afraid to be kind of liberal with it. That, and then a buddy of mine sent me this. I've been using this the last probably like week or so, musket powder. 
this stuff is is like fantastic. Um, I'm gonna put the link for this down in the description. You guys can check that out. He sent me this, like I said, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, and I just been I've been trying it. Good stuff. And put some of this on there also. Um, I'm also gonna add some potatoes and other stuff into this in about three hours because it's gonna cook a lot faster than everything else. Um, yeah, and I have potatoes, onions, carrots, and celery to this whole thing. But I'm gonna put the lid on this, and we're gonna let this cook. And we'll be back here shortly to uh, add the rest of these ingredients to this hibachery. All right, you guys. So it's been, oh gosh, probably three hours or so. Maybe three and a half hours, four, I don't know, close. But we got our beaver in here cooking. Got a, I got about another three hours or so. I got onions, I got Yukon gold potatoes, and I got uh, the baby carrots in here. I'm gonna add that to this because you don't want you don't want these overcooking. And if they did overcook, I'd still eat it, so it doesn't matter. Let's check what our beaver looks like. There we go. That is smelling really, really good right now. I'm gonna add all these veggie tables to my beaver roast now in here. There we go. Stuff all that business up in there. There we go. Cover this up. And we'll be back. I think it's gosh, it's probably cooked already. There we go. We'll be back um, here in another few hours to show you the finished product. I want to make sure that this has cooked thoroughly. I want it to be like fall off the bone. I want to cook the crap out of this thing. Essentially, you know, don't want to eat your beaver your beaver when it's too rare. All right, you guys. Got my roaster here. It's been. Gosh, I don't know, it's been about eight hours now. I just left in for an extra long amount of time. Oh, sorry. Set this on the stove. There is my beaver roast. Hold on here, we're gonna dig out a fork of some sort. Like this, right here. Let us see what's going on here. Oh, look at that. See that? Potatoes are done. See, I'm gonna, I wanna dig out, I wanna, I wanna dig some of the back straps off this bad boy. That's what I really wanna do. Let's dig in here and, whoa. Almost flung that thing right into the ceiling. Ugh, it's a heavy chunk of meat. That right there, you guys. Oh, that is so tender. I need a normal fork to peel it off here. There we go. Anyway, I'm gonna grab some of this back strap off of here. See that? Mm-hmm. Oh, crap. There we go. There we go. Potatoes are done. Beaver's done. Let's take a bite. All right, you guys, right here. Beaver, back strap. It's hot. Mmm. Very tender. You guys, not chewy or nothing. It's not, like, it's not falling off the bone if you touch it. But it's obviously not tough at all. Take some more of this back strap off here. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Guys, that is fantastic. Beaver heart. Had to eat this on video. Hot. Mm. 
hot. Mm-hmm. Wow, really hot. That's what I get for being dumb. It's full of juices and stuff. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. Hot, but good. Tastes like duck heart, venison heart, anything. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. That was really good, you guys. Like, fantastic. I've never cooked it in a roaster like this before. I've never cooked a whole beaver before in a roaster. Turned out pretty good. Um, I did some research on, like, other roasts. They say to do 300 degrees for, like, five to six hours. Fall off the bone, you know, good. Um, so I did this one for eight hours. Very tender is not falling off the bone. Like, you can't hit it to fall off the bone, but it's, you can see I was peeling it off. And it's so good, guys. Organic meat. Like, I trapped this beaver out of an extremely clear water lake. Like, extremely clear water lake. Um, excuse me. Um, yeah, good source of organic meat, you know. Go out, trap some beaver. I mean, this beaver right here, it's going to feed me, my family, my parents. And I'm still going to have enough leftovers for like three days. Normally, um, if you look back um, in my videos or just do a search of how to cook beaver or how to close, I think I did, I did a video on how to, I actually done two. I did one this fall and one a few years ago where I just did the did the hindquarters in a crock pot. Do the hindquarters also in a crock pot. That's always been very successful for me. Put them in a crock pot for like eight hours on low. It will come out, fall off the bone, good. But this right here, seriously. I'm gonna gorge myself on beaver tonight. It'll be so good. I won't be able to eat enough. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry, I'm eating. Please like, share, subscribe. All that business. Appreciate it. Peace out.